In less than 252 days, I need to raise $276,000 to deliver the most badass powwow that the world has ever seen. All right, you know what? Um, every year, for this is gonna be our third year, Powwow Times, this YouTube channel that you're on right now, we host a, a large event, uh, a powwow and a youth day. And I'm in the beginning stages of the, of the planning and I wanna take you along for a journey. We're starting from zero dollars and in less than, you know, I, I have it here. I want to be right. 252 days. You can't see that. It's so bright. Uh, I got to raise $276,000, $657. And, you know, this whole process of, of creating a, a power from scratch is such a daunting process. It, it's such a, a lot of work, a lot of people involved. But, you know, we get to bless so much people from the people that we hire to all the dancers that come, our spectators, our elders, we really take care of them. And I want to take you along for the journey. So if you're down for that, maybe I could teach you, you know, a lot of my knowledge about hosting a POW, starting it from zero, especially if you're not affiliated. Like POW Times, we're our own entity. We're, our, we're a nonprofit company. And we give a lot back to youth. So we do a lot of work with youth. We do powwow nights. Uh, we teach regalia making. So anything, if anything is made from the powwow, a hundred percent of it's going back to the community. We 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 don't hire anyone from our from our business as a full time staff. We contract out for the powwow, but after that, the money, if any money is made, it goes back to community. But I want to share with you kind of that whole process of what it takes to actually do a powwow. Maybe you're interested in that, and kind of the challenges. But also, I want you involved. I want you, our our community here on our YouTube channel, to be involved with this whole process. Maybe give me some ideas ideas about you know how to deliver some of the things that we're trying to deliver I'll give you the whole vision you know I have a dream I, I, I love Powell I grew up in Powell Powell has been my university it's been my school it's been a place where I I I met so many elders and knowledge keepers to, to hang out with them. I, I learned so much uh, from other dancers. It's crazy when you when you sit down with a dancer uh, and you hear their story. And you know, a lot of our, our people in the powwow circuit are ceremonial people. And so they have so much knowledge. So sitting down with a lot of these dancers, you end up getting a lot of knowledge as well. There's five steps to, to doing a powwow. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to share that with you here today and also going to tell you like how much we actually need to make this power happen. So, you know, let me let me just break down for you some of the costs of why. Why does this power cost so much? So the singing contest you, and this is going off previous numbers. You know, our singing contest is thirty one thousand five hundred dollars. And so we give ten thousand for first eight, six, four, go down the line like that. Um, our head staff, so I hire a lot of staff, not just like the regular staff you see, but like, you know, videographers, our, our, our run of show people, people who create schedules, people who do marketing, people who do sponsoring, we hire a whole lot of people. And so for our head staff, the people that we're hiring out is $43,800. After that, our junior categories are around $4,500. Our teen categories are around $9,800, uh, $9, just so just under 10 grand. Um, our junior adult categories are 19,000, around $20,000. Our senior adult categories, same thing, around $22,000. Golden Age, uh, 5,600, you know, I'd love to figure out how to get more uh, sponsorships so we could break down those uh, um, Golden Age categories and, and give them more of not just like pile them all together. Our Tiny Tots, we have $1,500, so we give money to all the Tiny Tots that come out and dance. You know, one of my favorite categories to watch our, our next generation coming out. Now, here's where the costs get really heavy, and I want to share this with you. So our venue that we use is just under 70,000, and that's just the building alone. And we could fit about 8,000 people in there. Our, our sound and our lighting system is 23,000 for the sound and for the light. The thing is, like when you use a, a certain venue, sometimes you have to use who they're contracted with. 
So, you know, I wish I can get like Hoka sound and you know, the cost and everything would be a much, a lot lower than what we're paying to use this venue, but it's the biggest venue in my area. And we serve this area and we, uh, with our, our communities in this area. And so it's the biggest venue that we have. And it's so sound and lighting 23,000 to put all the carpets and the drapes for all the vendors. It's four, or, or just under $15,000. And right before our powwow, if you don't know this, we have a huge youth youth day. So 2,000, 3,000 kids come to the arena and we put on a show for them, a concert style show, youth day. And for that, that's just under $15,000 that we do. Um, specials, I love honoring all the dancers that come to our powwow. And so specials are just around $11,000 for our specials. And other cost is 7,000 and that's like to feed the elders to get protocols, blankets, tobacco, things like that. And so that adds up to just under $8,000. So the grand total to, to do our, our third annual powwow that's coming up in October. So we only have, you know, what did I say? Around 250 days to make this all happen. And we're starting right now from zero. So the grand total is, round of applause, drum roll call. $276,000 and $657. So $276,657. Could we make that? We have to. We announced the power already. And so that's the challenge right now. Now let me go over with you the steps that we actually take to deliver that power. And I wanna tell you the vision of our power. I wanna tell you where we're taking this and why you should come along for the ride, all right? So here we go. So the very first thing that we need to do is we need to create a sponsorship package. And our sponsorship package is gonna go out to companies to let them know, hey, you could support this amazing event that already has a track record, has lots of people coming, it's an amazing event, and so, now I could partner with brands and I can partner with companies that could that could support our power, which is amazing. So um, that's the first order on the list. I gotta go to work on the computer and create a sponsorship package that articulates kind of what we're trying to do, what a power is. And we gotta do a lot of education about what a power is to sponsors because a lot of companies, they might have heard of, of a power, but they, they're not sure exactly what a power is, what it does, why we're celebrating, things like that. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna apply for all the grants that we could. Because we're a nonprofit, we're able to, we're, we're, because we're a nonprofit, we're able to apply for a lot of grants that could give us money. And we're hoping that at least half of this cost that we get it could come from grants. So coming from the government of Canada, coming from uh, our provincial, the, the province of Alberta, but also municipal grants coming from uh, the city that we host our power in, which is Red Deer, Alberta. And so from those, we were hoping to get around a hundred and fifty thousand dollars and you know cross our fingers that's that's kind of the game plan is that sponsorship packages first we're gonna apply for grants then uh we wanna when we know money is starting to roll in uh we want to lock down all our staff so we want to make sure our, all our head staff is covered our mcs our our arena directors our singing judges, our dance judges, our head man dancer, our head woman dancer, you know, all those good stuff, that whole list of people. We want to make sure that that we have those guys in place because they got calendars and a schedule too. So we want to make sure that they lock our powwow within their calendar. That way we could use, that way we know we have a whole staff. And then we also want to fill our volunteers as well. So we have Every year we have about 200 volunteers that come to our power and they help out with tickets, they help out with traffic control, with uh, garbage pickup, with 50-50 raffles, with um, you know our vendors and things like that, all that good stuff. We need to figure that out. The next thing we wanna figure out is selling the tickets. We wanna fill the event. Now here's where the vision comes into play. So naturally, we get about 2,500 people coming to the POW, which is you know pretty awesome with dancers and spectators. We have an arena that has 8,000 seats and I wanna fill that up. And that's part of reason why I'm doing this video as well, is to educate 
our non-indigenous people to come to our pow because a lot in our in our area right here um they want to come but they're not sure if they can come they want to participate but they're not sure if they could come and watch and take pictures and things like that and they're nervous to come to our powwows and so i want to do a whole campaign where I'm marketing to this whole area and all over the place that to come to our power. And I really would love to jam pack this whole arena with spectators, with our people to come to our power. And I think it'd be so amazing to have um, a whole pack crowd and we all celebrate in a good day, especially our youth day. I wanna bring in a really good indigenous artist. I wanna showcase musicians, storytellers, poets, all that good stuff and i want to have an artesian market with all our vendors all our crafters and i want them to when when they pay for a spot to come to our pile i want them to be so profitable so far they have been every single person that has bought a spot has made money which is so amazing to see so we want to sell all those tickets and then once that's all in place we 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 got our sponsorship package out people are sponsoring our power we got our grants out there there that that revenue is coming in we're selling tickets as well to to mitigate any cost because you know 67 67 000 for a venue is, is a lot of money and so this, these ticket sales they help offset all that and locally within our community um and for all of our all our events, all our elders were always free and all our, our tiny tots were always free to come in. And so thank you for everyone else that has bought a ticket because that, that really has helped out. And if you're watching this and you've never ever attended a powwow, I want you to click the link below. It's gonna take you to our website and it's gonna give you uh, a powwow guide to teach you, you know, the ins and outs, the protocols of a powwow, what to do at a powwow, just to help you out and then Maybe you'll want to come to our power, which is amazing. And then, so the last part, remember I told you five steps, is now we just got to deliver the event. And that's the one thing that I, at that point, when you're an event planner and you hired all the people that know what they're doing, you can just get off the way, you know, you can just get off the way. All the money is in place for prize money, for singing, to pay out your head staff. These people who you hired, to host the powwow they know what they're doing and you do not want to get in their way you let them do what they do best and that's what i do i get off the way i let the arena directors do what they're doing i let the mcs do what they're doing and we host awesome specials it's an awesome time i want you to come to our powwow so this is the journey to um getting that two hundred and seventy six thousand dollars and I want you to come along with me. So if you want to follow along, like, subscribe, comment on this video. Give me some ideas as well of, of creative ways that I could do to, to fundraise for this powwow. Awesome. Thank you for watching. Thank you for catching up. Oh, by the way, let's go zero to $276,000 in less than 252 days. Let's get it. Peace.